Hello, my name is Russ. I'd like to show you how uh, this new Trigger CMD feature works. Um, it, uh, it basically re uh, can include in your voice reply um, basically what, what Google or Alexa say back to you. Um, you can include the result of your command. Um, so, f for instance, in this case, I'm going to run this PowerShell script that's going to uh, it's going to read from my computer the, the last time it was rebooted and then it'll tell me that when uh, you know when the command runs via Alexa run last reboot okay here's trigger Kim D last reboot was on April 10th um, so the way that worked is um, in here it, it, it logged my command logged uh, 4 slash 10 in the in the result um, so Alexa was able to um, repeat that, you know, say that back to me. Uh, and Google can do the same. Hey Google, ask Trigger CMD to run last result, last reboot. Okay, let's get Trigger CMD. That's my word. Could not find a command with voice word last result on DS. Oops. Uh, hey Google. Hey Google. Ask Trigger CMD to run last reboot. All right, getting Trigger CMD. Last reboot was on four tenths. Four tenths. Um, that's how it interpreted four slash ten, I guess. Um, Alexa did a better job of that. Anyway, um, you get the idea. So whatever you send back in your um, in your command. Um, will be spoken if you sorry if you put it if you put result in your um, voice reply field and, and that's the placeholder for you know where in the sentence that you know Alexa or Google will say um, you know where in that sentence that uh, result will be said or spoken um, so I'll, I'll give you a little more background on this command um, it, it it runs, you can see, it runs a PowerShell command. And here's the PowerShell command. It just it gets the month and the day and makes it, you know, month slash day. Um, and it sends that as a parameter to uh, this, um, you know, this script that comes with the, the latest version of the agent. Um, if, it's, uh, if it's a Linux or Mac or, um, you know, Raspberry Pi agent, then this would be a .sh instead of a .bat file, um, but it'd be the same um, path like this. <clears throat> and actually, on uh, if you're running it uh, just not not in PowerShell, but in just uh, Windows Batch, you have to use um, let's see here percent user profile percent um, instead of tilde or what, yeah whatever that is. Till I think. Um, let me think here. What else can I tell you? It's basically how it works. And uh, I got. I should thank um, this guy for requesting it. Uh, Phil Tankeray he says tank or tank a whatever. Um, uh, uh, let's see. Nope. Right here. Is it possible to include the script output in the voice reply? The voice reply, for example, getting the current lab temperature, you know, that kind of thing. Um, yes, it is possible now uh, if you do it like this. And here's, here's some, uh, you know, more background um, on how to do it. And if you if you go into the examples, you can search for reboot and uh, you can find instructions and you can even add that command. Um, although it doesn't actually create the script for you, it just adds the command. Um, and you actually also have to add rebooted on reboot on result. So it doesn't do that for you. I, I'm going to add that um, in the future, but not yet. Uh, I think that's about it. Let me uh, let me know how you think or what you think of that on the forum.